We're going to be live here for the next three hours, and I have an amazing guest. I've heard her on other talk shows, and I've heard no one who is able to just chronologically break down how wicked the TSA takeover of America is and how it's a bellwether uh, federalization uh, prisoner training program to train Americans to feel like we are worthless, dirty criminals that line up at the Nazi checkpoints nationwide, and not just in trains or planes or automobiles, but in public buildings and shopping malls. Uh, open spaces, uh, public commons, as they call them. Uh, so we're going to be talking to Becky Akers coming up in the second hour today. Joining us from Germany via video Skype tomorrow will be Lyndon LaRouge. We also have George Humphrey, former Austin City Council member, uh, businessman, economist. He's going to be in studio with us tomorrow. I have some other big guests throughout the week. Obviously, we had Ron Paul on the broadcast yesterday uh, with a very important news. Ron Paul, Obama's Libya war is a power grab, is impeachable. Again, Ron Paul, Obama's Libya war, power grab, impeachable. Obama's Libyan war, power grab, is impeachable. Need to add an is there, I believe. Uh, but that article is up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. And important to get out to everyone. We need to continue to point out that he, uh, the presidency becomes a imperial office. It becomes a uh, kingdom. Uh, he becomes a literal ruler uh, if these presidents are allowed to continue. And of course, the ruler only takes orders from one group, and that's uh, the, the United Nations. And they're just putting the globalist agenda in, whether we like it or not. Later in the broadcast, I have a microcosm of the, the United States and the rest of the world, how the mafia operates now. A green and carbon neutral Formula One. The debate now in Austin isn't about hundreds of millions of dollars uh, to the uh, Formula One dynasty, uh, who all over Europe has gotten taxpayers to pay uh, for their uh, billion dollar facilities. Uh, now that shifted away, and now Austin, after saying they wouldn't pay for it, is saying that, that taxpayers will. Meanwhile, the guy's daughter has two homes worth over $200 million apiece, one of them over $100 million, the, 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 the uh, biggest mansion in the U.S., 150 mil total. And uh, don't, don't worry, her daddy's getting 250 plus mil, but he's playing along with the global mafia. Uh, the F1 will purchase carbon offsets or indulgences like you... 500 years ago would uh, try to get your family out of purgatory. You'd have to uh, pay the Pope. Uh, well, now you don't do that uh, you know, to get your family out of hell or out of purgatory. You just pay the Austin City Council, who openly has announced a $3.6 billion increase in the next three years, last year, so we're a year into it, uh, of all electricity cost uh, to save the earth. Of course, it really just saves... Uh, the big uh, mega banks that own the power companies that are raping us. But, hey, pay more for electricity. It'll uh, it'll save the earth. And uh, so we'll get into all those uh, carbon offsets. Also, Lindsay Lohan and, and Ron Paul have something in common, the Atlantic reports. They try to make fun of her. Uh, she's concerned about hyperinflation and dollar devaluation and uh, likes Ron Paul. So uh, Lindsay Lohan's been off drugs a while, I'm told, and starting to join the company of men. People say men, yes, humankind, mankind. Uh, so good job, uh, Lindsay, there. And we're going to be talking more about that. I mean, you know, we're, they just openly say we're going to lose the dollar as the World Reserve currency. Uh, and uh, the uh, pro-Federal Reserve uh, camp followers like the Atlantic are, 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 are scorning anyone, scorning anyone that dares be involved in reality. Ha, 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 they're concerned with our currency. Why, we're going the way of Mexico with currency devaluation, but so what? It's good to go from a first world to a third world nation. It's fun. And uh, to have cities implementing global UN policies outside of law to rape everyone, while all the real environmental degradation goes into ultra high gear. Just this last week, I saw articles about scores of species of pig that are part human, scores of goats that are part human, scores of uh, cross-species humanzies. Uh, they're now putting on the market glowing cats. In fact, th th there was an article I, m I was going to mention yesterday. It was, uh, we can repull it from the stack, please. I want to get to that later in the hour. It was uh, 10 signs of you know crazy genetic engineering, I believe was the headline. 
from InfoWars.com. And it, it was just the, the news of the, of the last week. It was uh, glowing cats to go on the market in the U.S. That's right. Part jellyfish. It's wonderful. Do you have any idea what happens when you start crossing all these species? We've had top genetic engineers on. It's just absolutely destroying the Earth's real biosphere. Oh, the Earth can grow back from fires. It can grow back from big, big earthquakes. It can grow back from even deforestation. But, uh, oh, 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 of course, plants breathe carbon dioxide that we exhale. It's part of the life cycle, like in your, terra your terrarium. They're announcing carbon as a deadly nerve gas. But, but... Giant cyclotrons, uh, nuclear reactors everywhere leaking and blowing up. Not a problem, Mombiot, the big global government, uh, green fascist calls for. It's a sick way to give you false guilt so they can tax you and run your life and inspect your house and tell you what you can do. They're using the environmental laws to harass the Amish and, 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 and farmers and people, but Big Agra is exempt. Grow up! You know, this weekend I was invited to a dinner party. I talked a little bit about this. They were admitting, yes, the, that uh, humans aren't going to be needed soon. And then everybody in the establishment, microbiologist, talks about how there's too many people and getting rid of them. And, you know, these folks, I guess, were proud that they, they don't have children. And uh, then, you know, uh, they were asking, well, you know, what do your children do? And, 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 and I'm, I, well, well, they're homeschooled. And it was like, <gasps> you know, uh, one uh, you know, female scientist was just, oh. <gasps> It doesn't matter. They win all the spelling bees and have the highest. It's just, oh, my gosh. Well, what about what about socialization? You mean learning how to uh, be a cult member, learning how to hate your family, learning how to hate the Second Amendment? I mean, my children go to swim meets and play basketball and are with, with people, other children, four or five days a week. There's a huge homeschool community. Uh, and uh, but but again, no connection to reality. And then. Uh, uh, one of them, you know, oh, after they heard that, they had to had to uh, create some idea of how how we were bad. And so, oh, they said to my eight year old son, "What is wrong with your eye? What is wrong with it? Oh, what happened to you?" Because he had a little little birthmark, and he says, "My birthmark." And they were like, "Oh, really? See, ooh, spying." I mean, these these people are not connected to reality in any way, shape, or form, and they're everywhere. And it is their sacrament to not have children. My wife has had women walk up and gripe at her for having three children in grocery stores. Uh, you walk around in Whole Foods and you walk up to the counter and the magazines are how great it is to live under austerity and have nothing. It's a religious sacrament to be raped and robbed by the bankers who taught us how to overconsume, who taught us how to be uh, petty and destructive, who built a civilization that was unsustainable so they could then have us completely dependent when they shut it off. See, it isn't that we're not wasting or we are wasting. It's, 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 it's another choice or many other choices. It's complex, uh, varied uh, thought, sophisticated thought. You're, you're thought to think one-dimensional, two-dimensional, certainly not three-dimensionally, certainly not four-dimensionally. All right, I digress. I digress here. Um, the big news is up on Infowars.com right now. EPA on radiation alert as fires reach 50 feet from Los Alamos nuke plant. And this is where they've got all sorts of test reactors, experimental systems, giant uh, uh, storage units of nuclear waste. Uh, the areas had nuclear testing going on for 60 years. And when there's fires, it releases all of that carbon, all of that, all of that chaff, all of that dust into the atmosphere. But don't worry. Suddenly, we've got the plant on the river there in uh, Nebraska confirmed to be flooding on emergency backup generator power. Don't worry, Fukushima, uh, five of the six damaged, three with complete meltdown. They knew that the first week, covered it up. Uh, and don't worry, uh, Canada with a huge leak that happened three months ago. Don't worry, because even though the northern hemisphere has double the normal radiation and rising, the EPA has just risen the level they say is safe. They've just, and, and there's no alerts about don't drink the milk. There's no alerts about we better not let, especially children who have fast growing cells on average radiation has 10 times the uh, uh, negative effects on them, even more on fetuses. No discussions about it. 
This is many times confirmed months ago, many times Chernobyl. Each Fukushima reactor blowing sky high, including the MOX-3, uh, the, the, the MOX reactor at Reactor 3, the 644,000 fuel rods stored on top, blown sky high, up to a mile and a half away. The Japanese government just covered them up with bulldozers, leaking into the water, getting into the atmosphere, covering the entire United States, off the charts Chernobyl. And eh, this is in 1986. The UN even admits over a million people contracted and died of cancer since then from Fukushima in their actuaries. They're not worried now. Because they wave a magic wand and say, eat the produce. Doesn't matter if months ago it tested all over the United States in vegetables. It tested in all the major milk. Off the charts, 300, 500, depending on the state. I mean, they had Vermont milk testing hundreds of times above normal levels. And their answer is, you know what? As this radioactive uh, orgy begins, it's not a problem. We raise the level of what we say is safe. But my gosh, we've got to raise all your taxes and we got to micromanage everything you do because when you exhale carbon dioxide that plants respirate from, it is a nerve gas of death. It is, it is, it is evil. The breath is evil. The radiation is Valhalla. Let us bathe in it. Let the cancers grow. Oh, Gaia loves it. Give us more. All the Greece riots and, and, the, and their government voting to hand them over to the bankers for debt the bankers created. Before I get into the fires approaching Los Alamos, before I get into all the other news, let me go ahead now and go over a few things that just came out in the last week. Genetic modification gone wild. Ten signs that our world may be destined to resemble a really bad science fiction movie. This is from the American Dream. We also posted it. Uh, at Infowars.com. And uh, going over this, number one, in China, scientists have inserted human genes into DNA of dairy cow embryos. At this point, approximately 200 hybrid cows have been successfully produced. They feed the milk to the military because, after all, they're slaves. These cows can produce uh, milk that is virtually identical to human breast milk. The scientists hope to have huge herds of these cows producing an alternative to human breast milk soon, and they hope to have the milk sold in global supermarkets within three years. Number one, in Canada, scientists at the University of Guelph in the province of Ontario have produced what they're calling enviro pigs. These enviro pigs, uh, it uh, goes on, uh, have the genes from mice spliced into them. And accordingly, uh, the scientists uh, and accordingly, the scientists uh, say that they produce less uh, phosphorus in their excrement, so that they uh, are being touted as environmentally friendly. Authorities in both the U.S. and Canada are evaluating whether or not to allow enviro pigs into the food supply. There's already cloned food in the food supply, and of course, they won't let you know in labeling if it is, and they won't let you know if the salmon is uh, part insect and other fish mixed in. And again, when you splice these genes, it does, has all sorts of unintended consequences, but a lot of them are intended. A lot of times the reason they engineer something is just the cover. In every major study of the GMO crops they've put out, uh, the uh, staple uh, food crops, they always reduce fertility in every major rodent study. Just pull it up. Scientists in Japan have created a genetically modified mouse that tweets like a bird. Yeah, 30 years ago, they had mice that grew human ears on their backs. Uh, number four, uh, one U.S. corporation can now produce a very muscular monster sam salmon, which can grow up to three times as fast as normal salmon do. And major university studies show within 40 generations it will extinct the open sea normal salmon. That's okay. That's 40 years. Scientists can now, can now produce cats that glow in the dark. A genetically modified cat created by scientists named Mr. Green. Uh, was uh, the very first fluorescent cat in the United States, but Mr. Green Jeans was not the first glow-in-the-dark cat in the world. That honor went to the cat created by a team of scientists in South Korea. In Japan, scientists have discovered that they can grow rat organs inside of mice. These researchers hope to use the same technology to grow human organs inside pigs. That was going on 15 years ago, by the way. This is all old news. Just, they had human clones 15-plus years ago, but they only grow them up to a certain size inside the cow uterus. And then they change its genes a little so that it won't be rejected by the cow. So they say, well, it's not really a human clone because it's a small percentage cow. 
Now, they, they, again, you can't tell it's got that it's a cow. It doesn't have like a cow snout or cow ears. It has cow genetics. And so they say, well, you don't have rights. And then they harvest them and use them. China, on record, actually takes the babies if they catch you having more than one child, especially if you have two. Uh, they take the baby they've now discovered and don't just uh, drown them. It's their favorite thing to throw them in a tank and then use them for medical parts and cosmetics. Uh, collagen that's sold in the United States and Europe to rich women, uh, but also, I guess, metrosexual men. They now keep the babies alive and uh, grow organs in them and things. But, hey, too many people, so it's a good thing. We're going to hear all day, uh, you know, uh, about, about a baby killed and did the mommy do it and who put the baby in the woods and, you know, every news channel kept covering it. But meanwhile, they got kids in tanks just in torture hell. And they've got these uh, embryos, uh, you know, in tanks. I've talked to scientists that work at the facilities that are part animals, so they don't have rights. And, the, you know, the, you know the, the babies are grown up larger to grow organs in them, and they're, they're gulping for milk and gulping for air in the tanks. It's all part of the freedom. Science, 30 years ahead at least. Giant control grids, the water, the food, all poisoned. So there won't be any families. You won't even be able to be attracted to men or women. Just pure hell released, just poured out upon everyone. And then the mass extermination. Nation. Genetic warfare will be released. And they're not going to need the cops or military anymore. Everything's going to be robotic. As soon as they have the factories completed to work on the robots and service the robot drones and ground ground forces and the robot tanks they've had for at least 20 years that are, oh, I mean, my God, hell's going to be released on everybody. And all of you laughing conditioned people, I can't even get mad at you because you were put in front of the television at birth in your diapers and sent into a mesmerized state. The general public is in a trance. And in fact, if you're listening now and giggling, it's because you're in a trance level with a hypnotic suggestion to giggle and laugh when you hear the truth. That's why you get so upset. Women are laughing right now because you know, I'm telling them that the bisphenol A massively increases their breast cancer. They've taken your life force away from you. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Central. We're here live. You know, I mourn every day for humanity. I mourn for the fact that already much of the genetic history of this planet has been irreparably destroyed and ruined by design by the global social engineers and genetic engineers. And, you know, I read this article that uh, is titled Genetic Modification Gone Wild. Ten signs that our world may be destined to resemble a really bad science fiction movie. It already resembles it. But the public on average spends now around six hours a day in a lower brain state. When you're watching television, it brings you into a lower brain state. Major universities for more than 60 years nonstop do studies of how to flicker the rate and how to put information embedded uh, in the transmission to manipulate your mind. You can read the studies, but I've been given internal tours that I wasn't even supposed to get uh, of the University of Texas Psychology Department. Monkeys by the thousands in cages by the hundreds strapped in with their eyes wired open watching flicker rates on television sets and commercials, all engineered to assault you viciously, all DARPA funded. I saw that 10 years ago. I'm not going to even get into it. That is right down the street from here. And I was able to see the monkeys by remote control out at Bastrop. I was watching them from cameras. The scientists sit in there. You go to the next DARPA-funded room. It's pornography and how to confuse gender uh, through messages on television. Department of Defense. I'm taken to the next room. Every room, DARPA, 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 being shown this. Of course, they'll try to reverse engineer who showed it to me. Doesn't matter. I didn't talk about it till years and years after, so I'll have trouble tracking it. But the point is that you can go research all this for yourself. They have spent trillions, and they write white papers at bragging about it, 
about how to control and manipulate you. The Google NSA data gathering system is designed to predict the future, and it's able to do it. Individually, they say, as of last year, 93% of the time, 99% of the time, they can predict major mass movements. And as they get more data fed in to this system, which was always their goal, Isaac Asimov's foundation series written in what, the 40s is about that? And the rules of robotics? What man envisioned has now become real. And that's why they're so arrogant. That's why they don't care. I I'm going to explain this again to you. Your food, your water. You just think they stop with fluoride, that sevenfold increase in cancer in the bones? You think they just stop with bisphenol A and almost all the plastic and the printer ink that you touch and then reduces your fertility? That's all old tech. 60 years. Everywhere there's, where there's rebellious people, the United States, Ireland, the Basque, in Spain. Those were chemical weapon programs developed in the 20s and 30s on record. On record. Do you know what they're doing with the rice and the corn and the wheat and the soybeans? Continuing here. Notice I'm spending more and more time on this because I realize everything else is now a side issue. You've got to realize most of this is a distraction, a diversion, a, 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 a false construct. We have a breakaway technocratic civilization in the universities, in the government, under national security, doing whatever they want. And only by compartmentalized people in the system waking up and going, wow, how does this guy know all of this? See, I'm pointing out things you already know but never connected. And then begging you to go read the white papers while they're still public before they bring in the Borg centralized censored web, which they're openly calling for. But Japan isn't the only one doing this kind of research. In Missouri, universities are um, engineering part pig and part human are being grown with the goal of providing organs for human transplants. Always sounds great. Number eight, scientists at Rockefeller University have injected human genes into mice. These humanized mice are being used to study the spread of hepatitis C, you're told. U.S. scientists have discovered that they can actually grow new human organs from scratch. The following is a quote from the recent Newsweek article. It goes on. And Japan, they're coming out with uh, feces that is then trans mutated into 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 meat folks won't believe that type in uh, japan feces to meat we'll show folks the article here's another one believe it or not a company in canada known as nexia has actually taken goats and genetically modified them to, to part spider uh yeah 19 years ago this was made public that it was going on a decade before by the pentagon they then just privatized the gene sequencing and last time i checked there were five companies doing it in the u.s alone and I, what was it, 15 years ago, I had the CEO on bragging about how they have these goats released in the open. And uh, when you zoologically cross animals, it causes major problems. Uh, diseases and in insects can then get into mammals. Yeah, let's put that back on screen for folks because I want to read the headline for radio listeners. Japan scientists synthesizes meat from human feces. There you go. They hope to bring it on the market for you and your family. And it goes on, as frightening as all of these examples may sound, and this is all ancient news, the truth is the genetic modification of plants has gone even further. Yeah, some crops have over 100 insect, plant, and human genes in them. Uh, a decade ago, they had pharmacological crops growing live HIV. This is all being done. Today, approximately 93% of all soybeans and possibly 80% of all corn in the United States, and that's a low number, have been genetically modified. No, no. Almost 100% of all corn varieties worldwide, including 10,000-year-old corn varieties in Mexico, are now contaminated. They're gone. They're dead. It's over. But don't worry. They're going to tax that carbon dioxide you're exhaling. And they're going to raise the radiation levels of what's safe. Everything's fine. They're going to tax what plants respirate from and then put off oxygen for us. Now, they couldn't come out and tax oxygen because you, even the dumbest people know that's good. 
So carbon dioxide sounds like monoxide, just like you can go out and get most people to sign a form calling for banning dihydrogen monoxide. Do you know what dihydrogen monoxide is? It's water. Most people will sign forms, and the studies have been done. Over 90% will sign forms to ban sodium chloride. Sounds scary. Do you know what sodium chloride is? Sodium chloride is salt. Let's worry about salt. Let's worry about water. Let's worry about carbon dioxide. But let's splice everything and release it open air. Let's do it. Let's, let's have the system openly write white papers on it in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I, I've got UN Biological Diversity Assessments where they state, well, the 96 one, they said we need to encourage war, famine, we need to cut off resources to reduce population, and we need to encourage homosexuality. Now, see, this isn't a moral statement for me. Let's get that out of the way. With everybody's fetish of obsessing on this. I obsess on the stars and, 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 and genetics and flowers and beauty and green grass and streams. And, and I, okay, I'm not all upset and, 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 and you know, freaked out and, and, ooh, and, 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 and everything's bombarded with this stuff constantly. I'm above it. I'm above your silly paradigms. You know, and, and, and all the latent gay people that obsess and bash gay people all day. I, I'm not talking about that group either. I'm talking about you having what you are as a ancient genetic expression of this beautiful planet being manipulated in the embryonic phase and after. So that you won't have children. So there won't be a family unit that tribally defend each other. So there's no opposition to the global hive Borg. And the end of our species that has been stated. This is the end of us. The end of humanity. The end of humankind. The end of it all. The end of it. The, the, the globalists are psychopaths. They are sadists. They love war and death and ugliness. You read the New York Times and other reports about art. The hottest art for two decades now is buckets of pus, uh, photos of dead babies, uh, uh, skulls. They'll, as a tithe, the, the, the Fortune 100 and others, and the, and the top bankers are who buys this stuff in the news, will come in and pay $37 million for, a, for a, a, a bucket of pus with maggots in it. To worship it, it is a tithe. It is taking stuff they stole from families and people they destroyed and old people they robbed and buying a jar of pus with maggots. It is a worship of it. It is a conjuring of dark energies. Why do you think Lady Gaga and the rappers, it's all about psychopath, killing, killing your husband, killing your wife, kidnapping children, murder. Lady Gaga is going to have a concert with executed, this is in the news, executed Chinese dissidents sliced open in big vats of formaldehyde. That's to train you that it's exciting and beautiful so that when you get run over, when you get killed, when you get soft killed, the, the, the system will love it. They're turning our atmosphere into who they are. Hell, a very crack in dimensional Hades is releasing this. Doesn't matter if you're religious, doesn't matter if you believe in nothing. Manifest death is being injected psychically and physically into us so we will stand down. Now, let me, let me break this down for you, okay? Because I'm, I'm tired of the denial. How many times did I tell you that television gives you Alzheimer's. I want to show people this. Type in television Alzheimer's. Hundreds of articles. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It's probably in the thousands. I've seen hundreds of studies. They knew it takes you into a near dream hypnotized state within minutes of watching it. The first time you watch television on average, it takes 45 to 50 minutes. After you click and sync with your... Folks, your eyes are brain stalks. They are, they are your brain. They are brain tissue. Your eyes are a, are a neural, uh, visual uh, device taking in the information. They can send carrier waves over it. They can put subliminals in it. But more importantly is the flicker. I saw more articles today. Oh, my God, it's so evil about the light bulbs and how they're going to be programming us. That's why, by law, they're putting in the, the, the fluorescence. 
and taking out the phosphorescence where they, they, where they can flicker them to calm the public. I mean, th folks, we are, we are in the matrix. We are in, our brain is a matrix. Our brain is what we see the world through. We are physically here, but the brain is a virtual reality matrix. And they're programming that with outside stimuli, electronic, magnetic, but also chemical. They've already got most of you. Most of you can't even, I'm not even able to get to you. My children, though, I can't even control myself with the computers and the wireless. And, the, and the, my children are already getting addicted to the Internet, addicted even though we tried to use it for education. I'm losing them. They're being sucked in. They're becoming pre-wireheads, cyberpunks, whatever you want to call it. We've got to realize that we need to have a huge debate about this now and break out of the trance. Please, please, there's still time. I'm reaching through to you through the matrix system. I'm reaching through, interfacing with your visual brain antennae, your eyes. I'm, uh, I'm going through the, the nerve endings in your ears right now. I, I'm reaching through to you. They're attacking it all. They're attacking it all. They're attacking your hormone levels because most of sexual activity is communicated, uh, especially with females, through olfactory smell, through males' visual with an olfactory overlay where your brain scans. Does this mate have good hormones? Does this mate have good organs? Your brain knows. Does this mate have a uterus? Does this mate, uh, will, will this mate produce enough milk? The nose. Brain tissue in the olfactory. Your multidimensional scanning system. Now, what happens with the mice? I'm going to get to that in a moment. Here it is, London Telegraph. Radio makes Britons happier than TV and web. And this is a new study they've done. But again, these are legion. Radio, when you're listening, you have to image everything I'm saying. If I say blue whale, you see a blue whale. It made your brain manifest that image and ca cause neural connections. If I say red bicycle, you're seeing red bicycle. If I say Marilyn Monroe, you're seeing Marilyn Monroe. If I say uh, George Strait, you're, you're scanning for George Strait. If I say Jesus Christ, you, you image the archetypal image of Christ. If I say cross, uh, if I say gold, you image gold bars or gold coins. Radio, you have to image. Television, you do not have to image. And it, 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 it causes a downgrading in brain waves. And that's what this latest London Telegraph article gets into. And causes depression. Another big study came out yesterday. Uh, that was dealing with children that watch TV at night, don't sleep well, and don't have proper brain wave patterns during sleep. And it disrupts their sleep. I've noticed that anytime I let my children watch even a classic movie at night, then they don't sleep. They run around the house all night. They wake up. They cry. Did we find the Alzheimer's... Um, Article Alzheimer's TV, believe BBC, AP, Reuters, just just Alzheimer's TV. I want to show folks that's in case they think I'm joking. You're under assault. You're under total assault. Now, yesterday I got up here and I explained. Yes, they had Romans having sex with each other. Yes, that goes on. I'm not. I, I'm I'm going above debates of uh, you guys trying to make this a, a moral issue one way or the other. And look at the scientific facts. There is BBC TV linked to Alzheimer's. Now, continuing. That was 2001. They've known it since they invented it. When I came out and explained they're trying to cause gender confusion in your brain chemicals, in the pheromones you put off, I was reading from French news agency. But still... They used the political correct term to kill debate and said homophobe in the George Soros outfits yesterday because they don't want you knowing what they're doing. Well, let's talk about the breast cancer then. Is that wrong to tell women what's killing them? Probably. Just, just again, break something down for you. Several months ago, the EPA raved the levels of safe radiation, depending on the dozens of isotopes, from 100 times to 100,000 times what it previously was. You can go to the EPA's website, and now even the Associated Press a few weeks ago, when it became official, reported on it. They're now saying certain isotopes can be 100,000 times higher. Most of them were 2,000, 3,000 times. It was a big list of them. I read them on air over and over and over again. This isotope can now be 25,000 times. This one 100,000. This one 100. This one 500. 
And that's because it was coming up in water supplies in San Francisco and other areas of 500 times, 300 times. They just say, hey, it's fine. It comes out now that for eight years at at least, what, four or five airports, Boston Logan is the, is the one where this stuff all came out, that they have been testing the body scanners and that cancers went off the charts. No kidding. Eight hours a day, their own internal studies, radiation coming out. You're being living in a microwave. And, I mean, no kidding. When you see the body scan photos TSA released, and many of them, you can see the skeleton. You can see the fingers. You can see the bones and the fingers and the hand. That's like a dental x-ray. You can see the cartilage and the bone in the nose. Look at those photos. It's going through your skin. These people worked there, and they knew. The government knew it was a death sentence for the TSA. These people are insane, but there's a sick, insane plan to it. So, you find my stack here from what I was uh, covering. And, and, and I'm digging through more of this. I'm going to do a special report later in the week, if not next week, that will get millions of views because I want to just show overwhelming documents, UN documents that said, encourage the end of the family. Well, I, I even have a Department of Education things that said the family is archaic and is barbaric and will be expunged, and that families are, quote, mentally ill, and the institution is inherently bad. These are quotes. And then look what they've done. It's not some judgment on what people are doing. Were there people in history that were naturally one way or the other? I'm not making a judgment on you. As, any more than I'm making a judgment on the French news agency article yesterday. In fact, let me find it here. Chemical in plastic containers makes male mice act like females. And then the females smell the pheromones off of them and they're not attracted and will not have sex with the male mice. And you go into all the other studies. This has been, stu this has been studied for, again, 80 years or more. They knew exactly what they were doing. You see, it's, it, it, it's more than that. Women are now not attracted to men because their brains are smelling the men. The pheromones. And they don't know why. Well, that guy, it, it looks good, but it's something about him. That's why women, when foreigners come in from third world countries and haven't been here long, go crazy. You'll see women go right up. They could be Eastern European. They could be from Latin America. They're ready to get their clothes off as fast as possible. They're like, whoa, I am ready right now. I mean, this is a, we don't have children in the West. The West is dying. We're not even replacing our numbers. Europe is collapsing. Japan is collapsing. They've been doing it to the Japanese men. Japan has, what, a 1.2 replacement. There won't be any Japanese in a couple generations. The globalists, wherever they got control, have been testing it. Now they're moving it to the third world. This isn't about gay, heterosexual, any of this. It's about destroying who we are. No wonder record numbers of men want to put dresses on and are attracted to men. They're, you're women. You're women. Women aren't attracted to you because you're a woman. So you're attracted to men because chemically in your brain, you are now attracted to men. Do you understand that? That's, that's one section of this, but that's why it's growing. Just like the mice. We'll be right back. We are now... Uh, in the little five-minute segment here, and I wanted to talk to you about the chemical, biological, radiological attack on what the species is. The global engineers do not want there to be families, and they're on record saying this. They want to chemically alter who, hum who humans are. If you go back uh, to Aldous Huxley... In 1932, publishing Brave New World, the vast majority of the population are suboid minions, and they are sexless, or they are hermaphrodites, who are not allowed to breed, and who are genetically engineered to be low IQ and servile. Before Huxley died in 1962, and he'd written many nonfiction books, he spilt the beans in a Berkeley speech and other speeches and writings, admitting that his brother was a eugenicist, as he was, and that his family had been part of a British government breeding program going on from the 1860s on. That's also public information, but he, he, he talked about it. And he said that he'd already been in facilities then with 
microchips that weren't even supposedly invented yet wired in to people's brains to control them and manipulate them. He said chemically and biologically that the public was being manipulated and that within 50 years, the plan was to roll this out widespread. Now, in the last few days, I covered articles like this one. Chemicals in plastic containers make male mice act like females. Turns them into females. The females smell them and, 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 and don't want to have uh, sex with them because they see them as females. The females are hyper-feminized and it accelerates their aging. That's why our girls are going into puberty at 13, 12, 10, you know, now as young as five, some even age three, you can put that into a search engine, three-year-olds now going into puberty in the West. The biggest contributor is bisphenol A, also fluoride accelerates development. So the males are female now, to a certain extent, and females are hyper-female. So they grow taller now, you notice with women, uh, are, are outpacing boys in the generational uh, increase in growth. Uh, women's breast cancer is off the charts, directly linked to bisphenol A that's in almost all plastic products, the lining of juice boxes, tin cans for soda, for Cokes, um, everything. And in the studies, it turned the mice into females. And if you get into deeper into the studies, there's a whole bunch of them, the males start getting confused and trying to have sex with each other. Now, is that saying that 5,000 years ago there weren't men who were attracted to men for whatever reason? You know, the point is, for whatever reason, that's gone on throughout history. But this is artificially being done. And a lot of people will then defend what's artificially been done to them. My point is, and will actually defend putting bisphenol A in there, like, yeah, that's great, we're taking over. See, people then love what has been done to them. And, and that's a tendency. It's, uh, uh, what's the term, Stockholm Syndrome? Loving their abusers. Taking what you were and changing it. Now, that's an oversimplification. There's a lot of other factors going on. But, look, am I homophobic towards hermaphrodite frogs? No, it's a scientific fact that all over the world, where our wastewater is dumped in, where these chemicals were being fed that we excrete, that the fish, the amphibians are becoming gender confused. Discovery News, more hermaphrodite fish in U.S. rivers. Male fish with female anatomy are appearing in rivers across the country. And then, of course, Air Force looked into spray to turn enemy gay. They could spray female hormones on them that in studies would make the men uncontrollably start having sex with each other. Uh, BPA receipts bombshell. Paper slips contain high levels of bisphenol A. Dirty money. BPA on dollar bills. They're sterilizing us. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.